well before I bought this truck and definitely in the first video in this series when I did buy it I was planning and talking about beaver tailing the floor of the truck about the last third dropping it down to make it uh, easier to load and to put the center of gravity lower but when James and I actually got the truck and we started having, having a, a look at it in the metal so to speak we realised that it was going to be a fairly complicated job. There was a number of things that would have to have been changed. The tow bar became a bit of an issue because the angle of its mounting would be changed and we'd have to reconstruct the brackets it bolts onto. We might have got into problems with the uh, car registration authorities with that. Um, and when we looked at the height of the floor, it wasn't quite as high, the table, as I had thought. And so we've made the decision, well, I've made the decision to not drop the floor at all. I changed my mind about dropping the floor of the truck because it's going to be much simpler to do what I'm about to explain to you. I still need to lengthen the floor about 450 millimetres to get the four metre floor that I need and to be within the maximum limits of uh, how far the tray can go back past the rear axle. But instead of dropping this here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that 450 mil an add-on piece um, that will just go from there to there. It won't be the full width of the truck, it'll just be the two ramps and that will leave in the middle free for the tow bar and so forth. Won't obstruct it at all. So I'll just have two floor extensions here coming back about 450 millimetres. Uh, the reason I can make the, the height on this ramp work is I'm going to go to four metre long ramps. And uh, you can see them on this rig that I nearly bought from Queensland. He used four metre ramps, uh, just scaffolding planks. Just bought a pair of those and uh, checking out the angles, it's going to be fine. The only thing they require is a leg in the middle so that they don't bend, but they're, they're fairly strong in themselves. So, that, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use two four metre planks. I'm going to put a section here that's about 450 long, but not the full width of the tray. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm not going to weld or bolt that those two add-on floor sections here. I'm not going to weld or bolt them to the car. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make up uh, a bracket here where they can... Um, uh, slide in so the what you'll have when the when when the trucks just being a truck with the sides on it is you'll just have a, a flat steel plate coming across here that will act as a bracket to hold the ramps and then um, when you're using when I'm using this as a car trailer the sides won't be there the bracket will be here and the floor extension will just come up and drop in, um, which means I, I can just drop that floor section in and then the ramps will clip in back here. The scaffold planks I bought are four meters long, the same length that this extended tray will be when I make these add-on bits. So when I'm carrying a car on the tray of this truck without these drop sides, there's three places that those four meter planks could go. I could just store my ramps on the top of the tray of the truck and slide them underneath the car. But that's a poor location given the super low clearance of most of today's race cars. The second option that I thought about, and I thought I'd come up with a wonderful idea, was to put a couple of tubes out the side of the planks, turn them 90 degrees and drop them into these fittings already in the tray of the truck so that when I'm uh, using it uh, to carry a car and I don't have these drop sides, the planks themselves would become the sides of the truck and be readily accessed there. The problem with that, I've realised, is I need those holes for when I build the framing and the canopy that I want to I put on the truck later on. So that option's out. My third option is to store my four metre ramps under the truck, right away from the car and any fouling issues. Uh, there's the length there, and there's already ribs going across the tray all the way down for them to sit on. So I don't even have to make any of that. I can literally slide the ribs in right now. And the holes in my new planks 
mean that I'll be able to chain them up here easily to avoid accidentally losing them or from anybody pinching them. So this is where I'm going to store my ramps under the trays.